Welcome to Vivi Knows Best. Can you believe that this is the last episode of this season? Yes. Well, I know that you've been amazing with me. So I thank you, thank you, thank you because you helped me through this journey to get to 2000 subscribers. So this means you like the material and I'm very, very happy, honestly, and grateful for this journey with me. Today, yes, is the last episode, but I will be back on September 13 with more material. And today I want to speak with you about what makes a person interesting. How could we make ourselves more interesting? Obviously, you see, no one likes to be boring and no one likes boring people. So sometimes there is shyness and we don't know how to become more interesting. And that helps you also to carry really amazing conversations with people. And because we spoke about the power of networking, it's so important to really have the skills to really be that interesting person. And what makes an interesting person? I'm gonna give you several tips and um, you will see that they work. Number one, you need to be passionate about something. You see, when you ask someone, how was your day? And they say, hmm, just like any other day. You see, this does, is not interesting. When people don't care about the job, when people just go from their jobs to the couch and they watch TV and nothing in their life is interesting. And when you say, how are things? They say, just hmm, nothing new, nothing new. But when you speak with a friend and the person tells you, you don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm learning this, I'm doing this, I'm getting into this thing. People love people who are passionate about things. It's good and it's contagious. When you feel that someone has passion, you know what? That it, immediately you want to be with this person. That makes somebody so interesting. Another thing, of course, is reading. Because immediately you start to wiring different connections in your system and you get so much knowledge. And when you speak with someone, you could definitely make these connections and you become a person that is cultivate and you know about different things and sometimes it's so good to just read about different areas maybe out of your knowledge or imagine that you are passionate about climate change and then you like to read about these things and you could share with people different books and you get more knowledge that makes you super interesting another thing that really really makes people interesting is the practice of humility why i'm saying that because People don't like really people who are super arrogant that everything is about me, me, me. And it's like, you know, every, you know, when people really are so full of themselves, it's not always nice when someone acts like an arrogant person. But when you see someone who is humble, who also like to give credit to others, who is a good listener and who practice humility, it's amazing. Guess what? A few years ago, I started to really work in humility. And I really took this like a real practice, like really being humble about everything and really understand that nothing was really about me and that I was only an instrument. And this is really good because you know what? You feel much better and you start realizing that sometimes when you act a little bit arrogant, it's only insecurity. And I know that because I've been there. So I know that the practice of humility makes you so much more interesting. Another thing that makes you very interesting, what it is? <laughs> guess, 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 guess. Can you guess it? Sense of humor. Everyone love, love, love to have someone who makes you laugh. These people who crack jokes, who are very creative and they always make you laugh. For me, the most interesting friends that I have are the ones who really make me laugh. And anybody likes to be with people who are funny and they make you laugh. Guess what? That is a muscle. The first thing to really have sense of humor is to be really laughing about you. You see, if I start speaking about laughing, the first thing I do is to laugh it about myself. There is nobody to laugh at. There is nothing to laugh at, but I laugh about me. And guess what? Then you become funny with everything. So just be that person. Another thing is be different. Think different. Why? Because people who are different, they have something about them. You want to discover something about them. That makes them different. And don't be afraid to be different. We all have something that makes us special, make us unique, and that makes you more interesting because you are unique. Another thing, it's gonna be funny to say that, but it's 
celebrate your weirdness yes if you're a weirdo that's amazing you you remember when you are a kid and there is someone in the class that always dress differently that is kind of the weirdo i actually get interested in that i love people who are really weird people and i love people who are rare why because that is really novelty something new you want to discover about them so before i was very conventional about the kind of friends that i have but now i have a bunch of friends that are really really amazing <laughs> why because they are very weird they are out of this world they think completely different they think out of the box they do things differently and that i really really love it another thing is try something new if you want to be interesting imagine you are walking in a party and you see when they introduce you someone and sometimes you don't know what to say and the host say hey meet this person and you are like hi and then the host said sorry i need to see someone else and you leave these two people and one of them don't know what to say and it's always awkward and don't ever say what i mean i'm gonna grab a drink because everybody knows that you're not feeling really comfortable speaking so if you want to be interesting you could say like guess what i just started to learn russian or guess what i decided to visit this thing or i'm doing this sport or just i'm doing that and the person will be interested because you just saying something it's a hobby it is a new practice that you are doing so it is great that you're taking a class about something just try to learn something new and that makes you very interesting another thing that makes you very interesting focus your interest in others when you really have a passion and you help somebody, let's say you're an advocate for animals, you're an advocate for saving the oceans and the, the planet. And on top of that, you focus in helping others and you are a person of service. That makes you super interesting because people really get inspired by people who help others and that they switch the focus from themselves to really serve other people. Another thing is important is to develop curiosity. What I mean, is curiosity ask the questions and be a good listener but be an active listener and be an avid learner someone who actively wants to learn about other people that is interesting about what people do and you ask the right questions it is different that if you're a person who is nosy different it's not the same vibe okay it's not the same what i mean is to be curious it's, it's a genuine curiosity when you ask people questions and you really are interested and you want to know really about them and you really want to listen because that is also what makes you very interesting when you're a very good listener another thing is have stories to tell everyone loves a great story so learn how to be a very good storyteller what is about a storyteller a storyteller is the one who can get you through this story and you feel it you see, I love some of my friends from Africa because the way they explain you something is like you were right there. They put the sounds, they really make you feel, they make the noises. Oh, the car was coming and this and that. And then you are living the story. I love people who know how to really tell the story. And to tell the story, you have to make sure that the person just is transported to the story and you make it part of it. So when you really are a great story, teller it makes you immediately a very interesting people when you go for friends and you have always these friends that have the most fascinating stories everyone gravitates to these people because they're very interesting and another thing is and this is the last thing guess what if you want to be really interesting forget about the naysayers yes forget about them you see the naysayers are the ones who are always telling you what's wrong and that they don't support you and they always come in with bad news be you don't be afraid to be you be interesting be unique be genuine and who cares about what people think about you don't give up your power you know don't give up who you are just to please the others so don't try to be normal try to be you that is what is important and that's what really makes you interested and um i love that you are here with me you all are interesting people and i thank you thank you thank you so much for being with me through the whole series i really enjoy doing it and for me it's extremely interesting to do that so thank you thank you and i will see you in september what i'm gonna do during this time is to rest 
brainstorming and have this moment of total focus to see what is the next thing coming. Okay, ciao, ciao.